Sheikh Jassim submitted a fifth improved bid to buy the club. Have the Glazers got the Sheikh exactly where they want him? Well, depends who you speak to, Mike. Um, I mean, I've got to be honest with you. Sheikh Jassim is frustrated. He is fed up. Uh, it's a bit surreal for me because I'm sitting here in Istanbul Airport. I've just arrived in Istanbul to cover Manchester City playing in the Champions League. Everywhere I look, I can see Manchester City and uh, Inter Milan logos, uh, big advertising hoardings with Manchester City's uh, badge everywhere. But we are talking here now about Manchester United and about this takeover process that has now gone on for almost seven months. I'm sure you're frustrated with it. I'm frustrated with it. Everyone's frustrated with it, including Sheikh Jassim. And he has said, this is it. It is take it or leave it time. This is my final offer. It's my fifth and final offer. We understand it's worth about £5 billion pounds plus another billion pounds guaranteed to be invested in infrastructure and players. And the Glazers have until close of business on Friday to take it or leave it. Otherwise, Sheikh Jassim is going to leave the bid on the table, but he is walking away. He is not going to be engaging with them anymore. Bear in mind, this is his fifth bid. He made his first bid. In February, all his bids have been for 100% of the club. He is a cash buyer. He is ready to go. And he is up against Sir Jim Ratcliffe's bid. Uh, according to the Financial Times, at the weekend, that bid would involve a phase takeover. So Sir Jim Ratcliffe would buy about 51% of the club now, and the Glazers would remain involved for a few more years. Obviously, that would be very good news for all the bankers who'd be setting up that deal, who'd be making even more money out of Manchester United, just like they have under the Glazers for the past 17 years. I've been speaking this afternoon to somebody involved in the process, and they told me they were really not pulling any punches. They said Sheikh Jassim is basically frustrated. The window opens in two weeks' time. He wants to get this deal done. I was told Manchester United are the biggest football club in the world, and here we are. This has become a joke. Ultimately, for the past four or five months, there have only been two bids on the table. And the two bids are apples and pears. They are completely different. Sheikh Jassim wants to buy the whole club. He's got the money to do it. OK, he may be offering slightly less than uh, Jim Ratcliffe, but all his money will be going into Manchester United. And I was told it's now or never. It's time for the Glazers and Rain to make a decision. And I was also told if they decide to go with Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos, good luck to them.